really short video just before I go to lunch. My kids just went out on lunch. They'll be back in about 15 minutes. But I wanted to talk about this myth that is going around that you can turn fat into muscle. Um, you see it in, in, in magazines, you see it online, you see it in a lot of articles. And unfortunately, I hear a lot of women talking to each other and promoting the idea that you can actually turn fat into muscle. Um, personally, I think a lot of women are crippled by their own um, misconceptions, their, their, their misunderstanding of how the body works and how the body is built. Um, you hear a lot of them talk about not wanting to lose their booty, uh, which is fine, and also um, the fear that they will start looking like a man. Two things. Uh, you are not going to lose your booty. Your booty is a muscle and um, you know the gluteus maximus muscle and any muscle can be built. So if, if, if you had a big booty to begin with, um, you know, with exercise and, and a proper diet, you will um, have a good looking, solid quality booty. The idea of looking like a man, uh, you're not going to look like a man. You do not produce hormones in the same quantity as a man. So that outcome, that misconception that you have, um, it can be very crippling. Before I move on, I just want to encourage people to um, go out there and find information. Um, you will be amazed as to the sort of um, misconceptions we have and how misguided people can be. Um, and for some reason, people are just failing to go do their research, do their homework, so that it can be enlightened. All right, super quick, muscle and fat are two different animals. Um, you know, I like to think of um, muscle as active tissue. It's active tissue that is constantly burning calories. So as I'm sitting here, I even tell my kids as they're sitting there and I'm, I'm teaching, um, when you're sleeping, your, your muscle is working around the clock. You know, it's kind of like um, an engine running in neutral, right? That, that, that car is not going anywhere, but the engine is on in neutral, but it's still doing some sort of um, work. It's still burning gas, gasoline. When you move around, of course, you burn more calories. So just like when the car goes faster, you use up more of the gasoline in the car. Fat, on the other hand, um, I like to think of it as a storage of excess energy. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, your body goes to carbs and, and fats as the first energy sources. And, um, you know, if you're not burning fats, it's just sitting there, just kind of like a spare tire until you actually put effort into burning off that extra, that excess that you have. Um, other than that, your fat also provides um, insulation around your organs and around your body. So fat is important, but having that excess fat is what a lot of people struggle with. So to get rid of fat and build muscle, um, it can be challenging because you're kind of, you know, you're ch in order to do one, you need to cut down your calories. And in order to do the other, you, you need to um, take in more calories. You need to have a surplus, sub, surplus sorry, of calories. So in order to maintain an environment that f facilitates fat burning, um, you must deplete yourself of calories. Growth, muscle growth requires extra calories. It's kind of like building, um, you know, an extra room in a building where you need extra materials, right? You kind of, you want to build your body, you want to build your muscle, you need extra calories to build that muscle. In addition to that, um, insulin is a key component of muscle growth. And insulin is like the enemy, it's like the antichrist of, um, of fat burning and insulin insulin is going to be released every time you eat some carbs so there's always that little battle that is going on and most people find that they cannot do both at the same time for me right now I'm actually in the bulking phase so my diet looks pretty it's, it's different from what it's going to be in about six months to a year when I start cutting okay but a lot of people do struggle because to lose fat, you need to cut down your calories, but to build quality muscle, you also need to um, have extra calories. What is working for me? I am eating, you know, I'm doing what I call clean bulking. I'm eating um, I'm a very clean diet, but I'm also working out at the same time. So as fast as my muscles are being um, torn down or broken down, I'm also depending on my diet to help build back that quality muscle. And so far, I've put in about 15, 20 pounds of 
um, protein or muscle. So, um, you know, to all my girlfriends and ladies, especially when you are, you know, on that path, you have that goal of losing the body fat, but you want to build a solid body. You got to keep your diet clean and you got to make sure you work out, right? Working out is like, in, you know, like the insurance against losing what you have worked so hard for. You do not want to put all of the, the work in and then eventually you start losing out on your muscle. So the ideas of skipping your meals, replacing meals, eating nothing but salads will not help you out at all. You have to keep your protein intake up. Um, you also need foods from other food groups, not just salads. Okay, you need to have a balanced diet so that your body um, has a balanced diet to work with so that you can build that quality muscle or what well, muscle mass that you need. Um, also, um, you know, rest is also important. Um, people tend to over-exercise, especially when they're desperately trying to lose weight. Everything takes time. Um, that visual change that you want to see with your body takes weeks, months, even years. And no shortcut. No, there's no shortcut. There's no magical secret. Um, there's no gimmick that will work for you to have a great looking body. It truly takes um, dedication, it takes consistency, it takes constant upkeep with your goals and your plans um, and, and real focus to kind of um, get the results that you're looking for. Change truly takes time. Um, each workout counts, so if you miss a workout, um, you know, you also miss out on progress. Um, but each workout counts and give yourself time. I think a lot of us fail because we do not give ourselves the time that we need to see that change that we want to see. Okay, so that is all I have to say. There is no shortcut. Um, you cannot turn, turn fat into muscle. You have to work for it. All right, so I'm going to go to lunch. Um, the kids are going to be back here in a second. And I hope you kind of take this information and you go read up about it because it's really a myth and it really, it's a little peeve. It hurts me when I hear women especially saying that they, they, they are going to turn, they're going to eat and get a big booty and then they're going to convert that fat into muscle. There is no better time than to build that booty um, than when you're working out and, and you're on a clean diet. It can happen. It's happening to me. My body's physically changing and it can also happen for you. All right, bye.